Hello, welcome to week three of our Bible lesson for the spring session of our faith formation curriculum. This week is the Good Shepherd lesson, and so that is why I'm here recording near this Good Shepherd picture. I was going to do it by the window in our church, but they're working on the windows um, inside, so it was too loud and kind of crazy. So anyway, I decided to stand in front of this one, which is a painting of our window. So it's very similar. Um, and someone commissioned this in honor of our um, organist, who used to be our organist, who has since passed away, Linda Dunn. So anyway, this hangs in our fellowship hall, and I thought it would be a good place to do this lesson. So let me read you the lesson for today, and then we'll talk. It is from the book of John, and it is chapter 10, verses 11 through 19. Okay. It says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd, does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Just as the father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them in also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my father. So this verse is actually, it takes place before Jesus dies, actually. So it's very curious that he's talking about laying down his life um, as a shepherd would for his sheep. So he makes a comparison in this that he is not a hired hand. In other words, he's not being paid like a hired hand would be paid to take care of the sheep um, so that when a wolf comes, when danger comes, the hired hand may say, not my problem, and run away because they're scared. But a shepherd who owns and loves his sheep wouldn't run away from the danger. He would lay down his own life to protect his sheep because he has a relationship with them. He loves his sheep and he cares for them. He is in charge of caring for them. That is his job. And so Jesus is telling us that we are like his sheep. Just like in this picture, where he's holding that little lamb and the other sheep are looking up to him. He is the, our protector. We are those sheep and he is our shepherd. We follow his voice, we listen to his commands and that keeps us safe um, and protected. And so this is a really wonderful verse that a lot of people find a lot of comfort in, especially when they're going through some hard times, to think of themselves as that little tiny sheep up in Jesus' arms um, being protected. So I hope that when you need some protection, when you're feeling sad or lonely or scared, you can think of yourself as that little sheep in Jesus' arm and, uh, and know that you are loved for, that you are cared for, and that Jesus will protect you. Uh, so that is the story of The Good Shepherd. It's one of my favorites, and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye-bye.